It's a project that is going to meet a national need. It's not only KSMC, it's a national need. My name is Moshin Tabai. I'm the executive director of the Kilimanjaro Kisera Medical Center, but also the principal investigator for the NEPI project. I have a co-principal investigator here at Ethiopia, who is John Butler. The two of us are leading the project. We're very fortunate to have an existing productive partnership with KCMC that has lasted at this point for 17 years. Building upon this existing relationship, we've been able to engage KCMC in a really dramatic and exciting focus. The Medical Education Partnership Initiative was funded in 2010 through HRSA with $2 million per year for five years to improve medical education. For the U.S. government, it's extremely important for us to invest in training the best possible healthcare workers to see them retained in their home countries and for them to become leaders in global health. We felt that the first priority was to improve the information technology infrastructure at KCMC. We set about this by bringing the CECOM cable to the KCMC campus and connecting it to all the different schools there. Secondly, we wanted to empower each of the incoming medical students with a device that they could use to connect to the internet. So we have provided each incoming medical student with a tablet. So now they have access to internet resources which can become critically important. Below here, below us here is actually the computer lab, which students access any reading material that they want. Other people, including faculty, we can also access that. So it, it makes reading and teaching and all this also a lot of fun. We enjoy it. We enjoy it. We enjoy doing what, uh, what is uh, what can be done through the computing. Next, we wanted to introduce a learning management system. We found that faculty were frequently overburdened, so if we could develop a method of putting resource materials on the internet or on a server, the students could then access those materials we were very fortunate that the Duke University School of Medicine had developed such a piece of software. They agreed to donate this to KCMC. It's good because you tend to read the material even before the teacher comes in class. So at least you have question in, in advance to ask. And when the teacher comes, it's like he's just knocking the places you didn't quite understand. So it was a really good thing. I acquired uh, team-based learning information from National University of Singapore, Duke National University of Singapore. When I came back, I introduced it in my uh, program. I think this is a new way of doing things, in fact, doing them better. You cannot go on telling people in terms of a lecture how much you know. In team-based learning, you let them acquire that knowledge first, and then you can see how much they have gained through that. They participate. So we have changed both the way we do things and also the way students acquire knowledge. There's a lot of information which you need to cover in a very brief time. And the only way to do this, the fastest way to do this is discussing it. Huh? From my point of view, it was really helpful and it also enhances the understanding of a topic because there are different ways to see something. You can read it this way, your fellow can understand it the other way. So once you put your minds together, it was really something different. And we found that the more poorly performing students had a great improvement in their scores. We have shown that it works and uh, uh, people are very impressed. And I think the students particularly, they rated it extremely high, 87% appreciation. They recommend also other people to Go team best learning. KCMC students receive classroom training and research, but they don't have any practical experience. The opportunity to have a mentor and to engage in a practical research experience 
is proving extremely valuable for KCMC students. Initially, we had to actually sit down by ourselves and think for our research, let on go to the department and present. But now we get training at earlier stages, third year and fourth year. Then later on, we are mentored by our seniors. So it actually helps us in research proposal writing and even research doing. We have also introduced a wet laboratory. In the wet laboratory, medical students have the opportunity to learn about the performance of laboratory tests. Duke has also donated microscopes that they may use for evaluating the presence of diseases like malaria. Even beyond uh, the, 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 the conclusion of MEPI, if I am hopeful that we shall sustain and maintain this program because I don't see how we can go back. Our hope is after the five years, people should look back and say, oh, this happened between KSEPS and you. Can we do something like this one? So we have to increase our training capacity in both ways, in terms of numbers and quality. Uh, we anticipate this uh, through this project to have real innovation, maybe revolutionizing medical education in Tanzania, but of course starting with the KSMC.